Hello, welcome to 5-Minute Yoga for Everybody. I'm Deborah Demander and today we are doing a short, full body strength and stretch. I have a lot of people who say, oh I would love to do yoga, I just don't have time. Well, do you have 10 minutes? Because that's about how long this video is going to be. We're going to try and hit all the major muscles of our bodies. We're going to do a little bit of strength. We're going to do a lot of stretch. And we better get started because we've only got 10 minutes. Let's come on to all fours. So we're going to come on to all fours. Back is nice and straight. Hips are square. Knees are about shoulder width or hip width apart. Hands also. Hands are nice and wide. We're pressing all 10 fingers into the mat. We're going to start rocking side to side. And let me just show you from the front side how that looks. So we're rocking side to side. Shoulder goes forward, hip goes back, and then we do the other side. So just warming up the spine. And now coming to center, let's drop the tummy toward the mat. We're gonna rotate the torso like a cement mixer. And let's go the opposite direction. And now coming into a neutral position, let's move through some cow-cat series. Inhaling forward, lifting the chin, and then rocking back. Shoulder blades reach toward the sky. Now hips drop all the way back to the heels. Arms reach forward, finding a stretch through the shoulders, through the lats and the side body. Let's do that again. Big inhale, flowing forward into that cow, lifting the chin, and then rocking back into cat. Oh, shoulder blades reach, hips come back. Fingertips stretch forward one more time. This time coming into that cow pose, let's hold here. And we'll breathe. Oh, finding that stretch across the belly now. Lifting the shoulder blades toward the sky like an angry cat. Breathing here. And now hips come back to the heels. This time let's take both hands over to one side of the mat. Uh, opposite hand reaches forward. So if you're on the left side of your mat, reach those right fingertips a little further forward. And let's come back to center and we'll cross over to the right. Left hand reaches forward. So we're finding more stretch all the way from the armpit all the way down to the left hip. And if you can imagine dropping your left hip towards your left heel, reaching the left fingertips away, deepening that stretch. Now let's come back to center. We're gonna do a little bit of strength inhaling. We're coming into a kneeling plank. Of course, you can be in full plank if that's an option. Do what works best for you. Now, slowly let's lower to the mat. Big inhale, lifting chest and shoulders, finding cobra or lifting all the way into up dog. Big inhale here, tuck your toes under, lift the hips and let's find downward facing dog. It's a stretch for the legs, it's strength for the shoulders. Inhaling, we're gonna do that again, forward into plank. On the exhale, we lower to the mat. Big inhale, inhale, finding cobra or up dog. There's no wrong way. Let's come back to that downward facing dog. Hips lift toward the sky. Heels are pressing toward the mat. Now, if you want, you can cycle those legs if that feels better. Hands are pressing into the mat. So we wanna have active hands here to work the shoulders. And we're gonna hold this down dog. Now, let's plant the left foot in the center of the mat. Right leg lifts, big inhale. Now, stepping the right foot forward, finding a gentle lunge. We're gonna inhale the right arm up, and then exhale, right hand slides across the mat. Do that again, inhaling to reach, exhaling, crossing that right hand across the mat. One more time, this time let's reach and hold. So we're finding a stretch through the left hip flexor and we're opening the right shoulder and chest. Now let's reach across the mat. We'll hold here. Feeling that nice stretch all the way through the right hip, through the right back, reaching the right fingertips forward. Now let's come back to that lunge. We're gonna walk, rock our hips back, right leg extends, finding half hero pose. Now you can always keep your knee slightly bent if that feels good. You can have your leg fully extended. This pose is also called half splits. So if you wanna do the splits, you can also do that. Whatever is in your toolbox today, there's no wrong way to do our yoga practice. So from our half hero, we're gonna take our right foot. We're gonna walk the right foot forward. 
Let's walk the right foot across the mat so it crosses over. We're gonna lower the right hip. Left leg is behind us. Now if you wanna have that left leg bent, that works. If you wanna have the right foot closer to the torso, that works. We want the right knee in front and we wanna hinge forward into some version of pigeon pose. You might have both knees bent and you might just like to come forward like that. Find the stretch that works best for your own hips. You can even just do the 90-90 pose if you want. Left leg at 90 degrees, right leg at 90 degrees. That's a great way to do it. So finding that hip stretch. Now we're gonna tuck the left toes under. We're gonna slide the right foot back, coming back to our kneeling plank or our full plank if we want. Let's lower all the way down, big inhale. Lifting chest and shoulders and tucking toes under. Back to that downward facing dog. We'll hold here for just a couple of breaths. Big deep breath. Let's plant the right foot in the center of the mat. Left foot lifts. And we're gonna step that left foot forward. Coming back to a low lunge. Now, if you want more challenge, you are welcome to lift that back knee off the mat. You're welcome to keep the back knee on the mat. You're welcome to come up into a little bit higher lunge. Do what feels good for your body, but let's inhale and open that left arm. On the exhale, left hand slides across the mat. And we'll do that again, inhaling to open, finding some dynamic movement and sliding across. Now, let's open the left arm. Let's hold here. And let's cross it across the mat. Remembering to breathe. Now we'll come back to center. We'll walk our hands back. Left leg extends, finding once again that half hero or half split. And again, if you want to slide that left foot all the way forward. Ooh, this mat's getting hot in the sunshine. If you want to bring your foot all the way forward into splits, that's okay. If that feels like it's in your wheelhouse for today. And if it's not, don't even worry about it. Now we're going to re-bend that left knee back to that lunge. Let's walk the left foot across the mat left knee lowers finding pigeon pose and once again you can have your pigeon pose you can have that left foot closer to the body you can have the right knee closer there is no wrong way to do it you can be at 90 90 if that feels better for your legs do the pose that feels best for your own body so left leg is forward right leg is back 90 90 you would have the left foot the left knee bent at 90 degrees and the right one bent at 90 degrees and then you'll just hinge forward over that left hip and we breathe here now let's come all the way back to center we're going to come to a comfortable seat we're coming up on just a few more minutes let's come on to our backs knees bent let's rock side to side this is such a great restorative yoga pose right here just rocking side to side. Now, if you want a little more, you could bring your hands behind your hips. You could bring your hands to your feet. You could bring your hands to the inside. It's really about what you want to experience. So you can have knees pulled into your chest and rock side to side. This is a great stretch for your low back. It also activates the parasympathetic nervous system. You could have hands pulling against the bottoms of your feet to deepen that stretch against the low back. This is dead bug pose, by the way, dead bug or a uh, happy baby. <laughs> you could also do a reclining straddle if that felt good for you and you could rock side to side there. So you could try all of those different options and find out what works best for your own body. Now let's bring knees back together. We're gonna bring our feet to the mat. How about one more stretch? Let's lift the hips off the mat and feel that stretch through the, th through the front of the thighs. How's that feel? Maybe press your knees together for just a couple of breaths. Let's roll back to the mat. We'll come on to one side and let's make our way back to a comfortable seat. That is the end of our practice. That's probably a 10 minute practice for your whole body strength and stretch. I appreciate you being here today and I hope to see you the next time. Oh, and by the way, this video ties in with my podcast this week, Every Day, Everything. It's just a little short, practice what you wanna do every day 
just a little bit. You don't have to do an hour long yoga practice. I have so many people who say, I don't have time for yoga. You've got 10 minutes. I thank you for being here. I love you and I will see you next time. Bye.